how disconnected we are from the truth. But I want to I want to show you how far disconnected we are from common sense now. John Stewart, the NBC News just said that they would have backed the Brinks truck up from NBC to be able to get him to do Meet the Press. And they they said it would have been the it would have been very very um, in the in the in the tradition of Tim Russert. No, it wouldn't have. Tim Russert was a newsman. John Stewart is a comedian. But now NBC News is taking Meet the Press, that was one of the icons, and saying it belongs in the hands of a comedian. And even John Stewart knew that that was wrong. Would have destroyed John Stewart. Would have destroyed NBC even more than they've already destroyed themselves. So, there's number one. News has become comedy entertainment. Number two. There's a school in, where's the school with the purple penguins? Uh, Nebraska. Do you happen to have audio on this? No. Okay. Um, uh, one of our, um, is it one of our radio affiliates, right? Yeah. Um, in Nebraska was uh, doing an interview with a, a school superintendent, and the school superintendent has now said that we need to call children in school purple penguins. Purple penguins. Stop referring to them as boys and girls. Because that implies gender. So purple penguins yeah. is what we're supposed to call our kids. Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. How are our kids going to know right from wrong, how, the, the, the difference of anything anymore? If we are now telling our kids, hey, you got to make sense, okay? The world makes sense. But, by the way, we're not calling you boys or girls. We're calling you purple penguins. You are neither purple nor penguins, but that's what we're going to call you now. So we don't insult you. Meanwhile... We're not closing our southern borders. Let me give you three things that this is this that we all know is true. One, all of a sudden there's this respiratory disease that is going around. If you look at where the respiratory disease is really breaking out, it is breaking out in those towns where the United States government went and shipped all of those illegal aliens. They're still shipping them, by the way. But the highest concentrate, the towns with the highest concentrations of the illegal immigrants, illegal aliens, those towns are the ones that have the outbreak of the respiratory disease. Meanwhile, Duncan Hunter said yesterday that ISIS, 10 ISIS warriors were stopped at the border. And we know that other ISIS warriors have come across our border in the United States of America. ISIS is here. Yet, we have Harvard students saying that the United States of America is more dangerous to the world than ISIS is. But the important thing is, we don't close the border because of political correctness. Purple penguins, political correctness. John Stewart, quite honestly, political correctness because nobody wants to ask the right question. Nobody wants to ask the wrong question. Nobody wants to ask any question because it might offend somebody. The economy, we're told, is doing better. You just don't feel this. Is a quote. You just don't feel it yet. <laughs> Excuse me. I went to the store uh, on Saturday. We bought six steaks. Count them. Six steaks. One hundred dollars. Are you kidding me? I grew up in a family that used to have macaroni and cheese, used to have to have uh, hamburger helper, and many times without the hamburger. I know what it's like to be somebody who struggles. How is anyone going to be able to afford any kind of meat when steak, when six steaks are $100 at the grocery store? But the economy is doing better. You just don't feel it yet. Meanwhile, the guy in Texas that had Ebola, he died. Looks like now we may have a sheriff that also is infected with Ebola. We're not sure yet. There are other cases now. There, Looks I think, because like he went into the apartment, and there are what forty-six now people that are being monitored for Ebola, mm -hmm. not just in Texas, but all over the country. Yet we're not closing down any of the flights. Why? Because closing down the flights, which other countries have already done, closing flights may make the spread of Ebola worse. That makes no sense at all. That is political correctness, all of this. So what does this tell you? This tells you that we are so disconnected from the truth that things are going to have to reset. And when they reset, they're going to reset hard. The farther you get away from the truth, the harder the reset becomes.